Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, the living God. Welcome to Jesus God Incarnate Ministries, where I give you all things Jesus. So if you want some of this, like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell so you know every time I release a video. I have uh, social media links in the about section. I have an email there as well, so you can hit me up there or the social medias DM me. And um, let me hear any thoughts below, thoughts, comments, questions, concerns. Also, if you're blessed by this ministry, consider supporting cash donations below or products I've made. So, like I said before, I will not be posting any videos unless the Holy Spirit prompts me to. Like, if you can't tell, I literally, like, I haven't even ate breakfast or anything. Like, Holy Spirit woke me up. It's like, bro, look, you need to post this video. I'm like, all right, whatever. You know, let's go. So, um, so I'm going to be praying for your financial breakthrough. And I'm all, uh, but before I do, um, I was going to break down a couple stuff of what God has been um, trying to do. So have you seen the video with like me praying for your uh, for your increase to faith or be praying for people that were touched the wrong way or um, uh, for your breakthrough in general? Um, God is trying to rewrite the narrative on like a lot of different things, right? He's trying to rewrite the narrative on literally every single aspect of the faith that we are in this time. I guess... Um, Full disclosure, I mean, you could believe it or not. It, it, I'm, I'm not tripping if you believe it or not, but we are entering into like a spiritual reformation, right? Where like the, the people of God are going to be exalted in a way that they've never been exalted like ever in, in, in Christendom, like history, right? And, and all that stuff. So like, we're going to have a completely different, like, we're going to have the same words of knowledge. We're going to have the same prophecies in terms of, like, like gifts of prophecies. We're going to have, um, you know, dreams and visions and things like that. But the intensity or the, or the type of those prophecies are going to be increased to a whole new level. And, and the body of Christ is going to be gradually lifted up because it's, like, there's a lot more to it that God took me through a lot just to get to this point. And I was just thinking about a couple of days ago, like, why is it that I'm praying these like prayers that I've never heard anyone else pray before? <sighs> Fudge cakes. Um, and then I thought about that. God put it on my heart to pray these prayers. And it hurts for me to like, think about it because only God knows what I went through right? Same, same with you. Only God knows what you truly, truly went through. Like there's, there's like, it could be your best friend. It could be whatever. They know what you went through. They, they know the story. They were there. They're watching you struggle or whatever it is. Right. But truly your heart of hearts, your thoughts, the things that you felt inside, in your mind, in your soul, in your body, literally only God knows. That's why, like, I'm so militant when it comes to God. That's why I'm so cutthroat when it comes to God. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stop talking about it before I just start. Okay. So, um, so basically I'm, I'm, so God is, is for, for this video is faith is this, it's different things that he's going to touch, I guess. But that, that, like I said, if the Holy Spirit prompts me to, 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 he's going to choose a topic and he's going to choose, um, like when I post it, right? So for this one, he's going to rewrite how the entire kingdom of God should be with their finances because the end goal is not to be stacked. I need you all to hear this very, very, very clearly. The end goal is that we equip saints that can go into the world and bring people into the kingdom of God. Now, it might not be missionaries in terms of um, a missionary goes into another part of the country that you're in or a missionary goes into a whole another country on another side of the world or, or down the street from your uh, country. Right. Like the neighboring country. It could be that you're now equipped to uh, to go down to part time or something. Right. And then you could use a portion of that time to worship, to praise, to read the word, to grow in knowledge and grace of Jesus Christ, to, to do a side ministry, 
to, to do prayer meetings, to, um, to go to local places and talk to people, right? Because the end goal is the fact that, like I've said before, if you've been here from the jump, eternity doesn't end. I'm going to equip as many saints as possible with what I have now in terms of knowledge, wisdom, understanding, experience, testimony, um, whatever I possess in, in, in physical and in spiritual and emotional and in any aspect. If, if somebody needs to get a demon casted out, if somebody needs to get prayed over, like I'm going to equip the saints in every single way possible. If somebody needs money, right? If somebody needs a, 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 a whatever it is. With what I have, I will equip the other person with, you know, with what was given to me. So basically, God is going to rewrite how the narrative should be with, um, with money. For example, the Bible says it's better to, to, uh, to give than to receive, right? So let's say... Um, for example, the king, the, the kingdom of God. Okay. So the people of God that are watching this, you have something to give. Now you, let's just say you got blessed with the bonus or you got blessed with extra, whatever it is, extra money, da, 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 right? Now you go get a gift card. That's a gas card or a food card or, or a card to a, a, a local uh, store or, or a card to a local, uh, like clothing store or something like that. Right. Um, and then, and then now you just go up, you go up to a random person at the mall, at the, whatever it is. And you say, Hey, um, I just, I just wanted to quickly say, you know, um, the Bible says it's better to give than to receive. So here's a $50 gas card. Have a good day. May the Lord be with you. And then, and then that, that is, that is, that could prompt a conversation where you could preach the gospel or you can hear their story. Right. Um, I did it a couple times where I would, um, I mean, I, I did it as a YouTube challenge, bro, but I, but I did it off the camera. Right. Cause like I said, uh, well, I haven't said it before probably, but more ministry gets done off the camera than on the camera. Right. Like, like the, the times where I've been recorded preaching, that's like one or 2% of the times that I actually go preach. Right. The, the, the times that I'm praying here on here or whatever teaching, that's literally 5% of the times that I'm actually teaching. Right. Because I'm teaching people daily wherever I'm at because it's that nonchalant now because God has brought me to that point. Right. So 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 th that's what I mean. It could be it could be to it could be to your church member. Right. Hey, you know what the Bible says. The Bible says it's better to give than to receive. Boom. Give him $50 gas card. And if you have more than $50 to do, okay, boom, let's say you got a $500 gas card. Hey, or, or $500 whatever card, right? Hey, the Bible says it's better to give than to receive. Boom, you give somebody $500. I mean, see, you see what I'm saying? So like, if we think differently, if we let the Holy Spirit give us ideas of where to go, how to give, right? Hey, the Bible says it's better to, to give than to receive. I know your rent this month, even if they're not struggling. Like you don't have to struggle to, to give it to somebody. Like you don't need to just go give to poor people. There's other people too that are not poor that you could also help and they could see the love of Christ, right? We got to stop thinking so one dimensional in terms of like, oh, the homeless, the poor, the helpless, the, I'm going to help, help those people only. Okay. What about your neighbor in church who's not struggling, but needs to know that people live the Bible out. They live the Bible out. That's what they need. They don't need for you to pay their rent at, uh, because they're struggling. They need you to, like, let's say, for example, you did pay their rent. They're not struggling. But you told them the Bible says it's better to give than to receive. Boom. They're seeing that scripture in real life. Right? So now, if you just take it a step further, and this is uh, this is probably like the last thing I'll say before I actually get into the prayer. So, so, so now let, let's take a step further. A missionary is, is, is trying to go on a missions, but they can't. Why? Because they went to all their family and friends. They went uh, door to door. They, um, they went to a whole bunch of churches. They spoke at a whole bunch of churches and um, they have a certain amount of time to get a certain amount of donations, regular donations uh, every single month. They got, let's say they got to do like 2,500 a month or something like that. Right. They get to um, approximately 1800 a month, which is not enough to cover what they need to actually do when they're going to be in their missions, right? Um, and now they can't go. 
but God did indeed call them to that thing. So let's say you are somebody that does um, God. And, and mind you, not everyone has to be like this. That's the part where like, y'all got to really understand. Some people are better off uh, where they're at. They give their tithes and offerings and then Holy Spirit expands them a little bit. Be like, hey, now I want you to buy some cards for um, for for food places. And then you can just bless a family. Right. Like you you, you go to whatever I don't know, restaurant you go to with Applebee's or wh whatever it is. Right. I don't know what country, wh whatever, like a sit down place. Right. And then you already have a, a hundred dollar gift card for that place. And then you sit down. You look in the next booth or the next whatever over you, like, hey, guys, just, just want to say real quick that the Bible says it's better to give than to receive. Boom. Here's a $100 um, thing for this place. Hey, you guys enjoy it, okay? And then you can walk away. You can have a conversation, right? As the Holy Spirit leads. But this is just an idea to get that part of the Holy Spirit within you to allow the Holy Spirit to give you these kind of ideas, right? So, um... All right. Boom. You go to a dealership and um, and you basically you, you basically say, yo, um, is there a way that I can get credit for like repairs or something? And then you can give it to someone else. A flight. <clears throat> you can just buy an online credit thing or whatever it is for for for, for flights. And then you can give it to someone and tailor it to them. Yo, I know that y'all been uh, trying to get to vacation because y'all really need it and your kids or whatever it is. Da, 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 da. Shoot. Here's six hundred dollars in, um, in 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 flight credit. Go wherever you want. Right. And if you got it like that, here's also um, Airbnb. Here's also a uh, rental. And here's also this. Right. Let's say you gave them a thousand dollars in total. Now they can go on a little vacation. See what I'm saying? Because they needed rest. And then, and, and then when they come back, they're rejuvenized. But you didn't give that because you want to be noticed. You gave that because you were putting the Bible in action. Which doesn't circle back to you. It circles back to. This person is going to praise God. But the real reason behind all this. Because God doesn't want people going to hell. Just like it says, I think, in uh, Second Peter. God is patient so that he desires everyone to come to repentance. But God is patient. So, so basically, he gives us time. Right? He gives us uh, more grace than we need. I tell you the truth. If I died before 18 years old, I would be dead in hell right now. I'm just keeping it a buck. But I didn't because God loves me. And I'm going to stop talking about that because I'm going to start crying. <laughs> okay. So um, so basically what I'm asking is that anyone filled with the Holy Spirit, anyone that the Holy Spirit prompts, anyone that uh, anyone that is seeking for truth and won't stop seeking for truth until you find it. Uh, I I'm asking y'all that y'all donate to this ministry intentionally i'm intentionally asking you guys to donate to this ministry because god has some um uh god has some avenues that he needs me to go into but he needs me to have just a little bit of pocket change just a little bit like i said if the y'all gotta really like exercise some wisdom right now right exercise just a little bit of wisdom the caveat is if the holy spirit prompts you to right so now i don't know how the holy spirit talks to you does he bother you like he does me and that idea is not shaking out of your spirit until you do it? Or does he just like, go ahead. Like, like, how is it? Or, or like, you know, like, I don't know how he talks to you. Is it in a dream? Is it in a vision? Is it an audible voice? I mean, he does that to me like sometimes all the time and stuff. But like, may the Holy Spirit lead you to this. And just know that this is going to be the start of God using someone to rewrite the narrative of how kingdom finances should be. Now I'm going to pray for your financial breakthrough because finance is a lot more important than what people want to acknowledge. It is really, really important. Heck, we work eight hours a day just to, bruh, come on. Okay. 
Holy Spirit, help me pray. I pray right now for supernatural favor, spiritually speaking, supernatural favor in the financial realm. Super, I pray that the floodgates of heaven, that the gold coins in heaven start falling right now. I pray that, that you connect a tether from each person's pocket. If there is some kind of place in their pocket that the devil has ripped in the bottom and the, and, and the, um, and the coins are falling out, I pray you send angels to sew the, uh, the, the, the pocket holes that's there. I pray if it's falling in buckets, I pray you send angels to seal the bottom of the bucket so that when the coins fall down from heaven, there is no way that it is going to come out. There's no way that it's going to, that it's just going to leave somewhere. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, that the saints of God wake up and that you arise them, Lord, as leaders, Lord Jesus. I pray they move stealthily. I pray that they move in a way that they haven't moved before when it comes to the finances. I pray for supernatural provision. I pray that angels come through and just wire money into the bank account. I pray that people come through and just hand out checks. I pray that people come through and just hand out heaps of cash. I pray that people come through and hand out heaps of uh, um, all the cards and, and, and things that would practical things that will help people like apple apple cards and 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 food cards and gas cards and and clothing store cards gift cards and things of that nature online gift cards uh, uh flight credits um all these things all these hotel stuff so that families can go forth and see the glory of god in this world and that they can get rest and that they can see the glory of god and they can praise god on the way i pray that that i break off the people's minds souls and spirits off of them, their family, and all future generations, any ancient spirits that are causing poverty to reign, I break you off and I cast you out in the name of Jesus. I seal their pockets. I seal their wallets. I seal their hands. I seal the work of their hands. I bless the fruits of their labor. I bless the, the fruits of their mind. I bless them with the, with the rest that they thought they could, they could never have. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that I put all this in the, in the altar fire, uh, for, for, from the fire of altar, Lord Jesus in heaven to the altars full of water where it can be cooled down, solidified, and it could go forth. And I pray, I break, I bring it out of the altar of water, Lord Jesus, and I call for a heavenly wind to come and cool it down even further. I pray, Lord Jesus, that there is an angel that walks with every single person that is in agreement that gives today that shall increase the fire of God inside of them. Increase... I pray that they have a funnel of the fire of God. I pray that they have a funnel of the water of God. I pray they have a funnel of, of the wind of God that will come through and increase their wisdom, Lord Jesus, so that when they do get to the point where their pockets get bigger, they don't move like fools. They don't move like the unwise. I pray that you increase their knowledge and wisdom. I pray you increase their understanding so that they can operate freely and easily in the realm of of uh, of of um kingdom finances i pray and i give them uh uh the knowledge and the wisdom and the and the glory of god in the way of finances i pray right now in the name of jesus that that if they have not contended for their financial breakthrough that they don't get their financial breakthrough i pray if they have not um if they're not serious about it, Lord Jesus, don't bring their financial breakthrough. I pray, Lord Jesus, if they if they're saying it with their lips, but their hearts is far from the position of that prayer. I pray that they stay in the in the position that they're in. But I pray, Lord Jesus, that if they are serious about it, that they'll wake up the next morning and you tell them that somebody is coming through somebody that they might not know. Uh, it could be an angel from heaven. It could be an angel on earth because angel just means messenger. So if an angel of God comes to you, and hand you stacks randomly or, or 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 just pays off your debt randomly. Know that God sowed the seed. And know I pray right now that you let these people know that if the Holy Spirit speaks, the, the Holy Spirit speaks. If the Holy Spirit says something, it's finna go down. That if the Holy Spirit wants something to happen, that is gonna go down. And if the Holy Spirit decides to bless you, he's gonna have to test you first. That you're not just gonna come up in here into the in, into the into the throne room of God and ask for something that you did not contend 
for. I pray you give them strength to contend for it, Lord Jesus. I pray you give them strength to have that uh, $400,000 in whatever it is paid off in it like this, Lord Jesus. Not and, and we're not talking like, like, the, like we're talking somebody's going to literally come through and say, how much debt do you have? Boom, you don't have no more debt. What do you need? Boom, you don't have no more of that. I pray you send angels of God like that, Lord Jesus, whether it be human or, or angelic beings that turn into human that do the same thing. I pray in the name of Jesus, kingdom financial thoughts right now. I pray you plant the seeds in their head. Oh man, Jesus is Lord. The fire of God is coming down. I open the flood gates of heaven. Behind gates are many doors and behind and when you go into the door are many windows. So I pray, Lord Jesus, that when we open, that since the gates have already been opened, we are going to go into the houses that have the doors. And even within the houses, there's many doors. And within those many doors, there's many windows. I pray we go into those houses and we open the windows and birds shall come through dropping not just dollar bills. They're not just dropping coins. They're not just dropping these things. They're dropping opportunities. They're dropping souls into there. They're dropping words into there that we can say to these souls. They're dropping letters from God saying, hey, son, daughter, I need you to do this. Hey, as a family, go to this vacation and I need you to pray for this area. Be here for about a week. Have fun and do all that. But don't tell anybody that you sent from God. I pray that you put a stealth covering mode over the people of God, that even the people of God sometimes won't recognize it unless you want them to, that they're there for a secret mission, that they're there to intercede for the people, that they're there to bless somebody. They're, they're there to go and just pray for that region. They're there to go and break the chains off of that region. They're there to go to declare de deliverance over that. They're there to go and, and, and call spiritual fire down from heaven, that it should be cleansed, that the ground that they walk on shall now be holy. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that every single person that donates is not going to be, so, uh, they're not going to give because, um, because they feel bad. Nah, bro, don't feel bad for me. I've been broke before. I've been homeless before. I've been homeless multiple times with my family and by myself. I've seen some things that the average human being should not see. I've, I've been to places that the average human being has not been. I have have endured some things that it is only by the grace of God that I still breathe. So I'm fine. But though I am broke, though I am struggling, though I am going through these things, the glory of God is here and the joy of the Lord is my strength. That's why I worry not. Sometimes we're still human, so we shall worry. But I pray anybody here doesn't give because they want to, but they give because souls are at the end of this giving. L listen close. Souls are at the, at the end of this giving. I pray that I see the people that are going to give. I pray a special prayer over them, and I pray a special prayer over the money that's going to start being funneled into the kingdom of God, not just to me, but to everyone else, that God should be so holy, that he, he should so love us so much, that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And indeed, he did send his son. Indeed, the spirit has already been dropped on this earth. It's been poured out already. Joel 2 has already been fulfilled. I pray in the name of Jesus that we enter into this reformation with big pockets, or if you don't need big pockets, I pray that you enter in with big prayers. If you don't have big prayers, I pray that you enter in with big encouragement. I pray you enter in with, with, with better shepherding. I pray you enter in with whatever God has given you, that you should go forth into the world and exercise that which God gave you. And I pray in the name of Jesus that the saints that are listening go by the Holy Spirit's voice. They go by the Holy Spirit's voice. Yet again, go by the Holy Spirit's voice. Don't go by my voice. Don't go by the potential blessing that's going to come your way. Go by the Holy Spirit's voice. Go by the Holy Spirit's voice. Let me say it one more time. Go by the Holy Spirit's voice. If the Holy Spirit is prompting you and he is encouraging you right now in me, he's saying, yes, give to my son. He has been faithful and you will see what shall come your way. Dragons shall come to you and snakes shall come to you. Wolves shall come to you. Insects and other things that are, that are not of God shall come to you. They will try to fight you, but I will equip you. I will give you swords from heaven. I'll send the angels of heaven to fight 
fight on your behalf. Uh, do not be afraid to, to listen to the prompting of the Holy Spirit. Uh, all you heathens and atheists, uh, all you unbelievers, all you Muslims, uh, all you atheists, all you scientists, all you naturalists, all you Buddhists, uh, all you Christians, all you lukewarm Christians, and all you Christians on fire with the Holy Spirit inside of you. It is okay. My son is approved, but I need you to know that God has sent, has sent his son into the world, and God is giving you a shield of, the, the shield of faith. God is giving you the helmet of salvation and the whole armor of God, and he is sending armies right now. He's preparing the armies of heaven right now, for Satan is in war with the holy God. Satan is in war with his own father. Satan is in war with the saints of God. Satan is in war with the creatures in heaven. Satan is going to lose the war, for Jesus Christ said it is finished. Jesus Christ said it is finished. Again, Jesus Christ said it is finished. He has overcome the world, so fear not. You will have trouble, but he has overcome the world. Take heart, O children of God, for I am coming soon, the Lord says. I am coming soon, the Lord says, and hey, I will come with fire. I will come with fire. Not like in the days of Noah. This time it shall be fire. My eyes are a blazing fire right now. I'm on my horse, and I'm preparing the saints, and this is a reformation that y'all shall see, and you guys are the first fruits. If you believe, if you believe, I didn't come into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world. Oh my goodness. God is good. God is good. The four living creatures day and night say these things. And I am ashamed sometimes to call some of you my children. But I know that there is the few for the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few for God is holy and God has a mighty army. God wages holy war. There is a name that only I know, the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings written on my thigh. And if you know, and if you have ears to hear, sow into this man for I am so, I have sowed into him. Please, oh children of God, be not afraid to burst forth. Fear is not something I gave you. Power, love, and a sound mind is what I gave you. And if you shall heed the voice of the living God inside of him, you shall see and you shall taste. You shall see the fruits of God. You shall walk in, uh, in, in ways you've never thought you could before. You shall see the glory of God. You might even go to heaven a time or two. You might even have angels visit you a time or two. You might even have these things happen. I shall come to my people just as I come to people around the world in dreams and visions, in visitations. And I pray, I pray that you see that the father's heart is still be is still beating it is still beating in the land of satan i am going into the land of satan and i've already declared war and i'm going to wreak havoc in the land of satan the four pillars of the land of satan i shall destroy says the lord i shall destroy says the lord and you shall be my witnesses just as i sent witnesses before you guys are still my witnesses that god is still moving god still speaks god still has the holy spirit being poured out god is still doing these things right now. God is still moving. God is still holy. God is still. God is still. God was and is and is to come. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. For I go into the world and I'm going to reap from my children what they have sowed. And to those who have sowed evil, they shall reap death. To those who have sowed in the spirit, they shall reap light. And I pray right now that you join hands with me in the spiritual reformation that my son shall go into the world just as he already has been and he's teaching y'all the things that I want y'all to know not what he wants y'all to know what I want y'all to know from the belly of his belly that he speaks rivers of living water if anyone doubts go to the word and see if these things are not so that you should know that the Holy Spirit still speaks to the children of God today that prophets and apostles were sent in times of old and even today apostles and the prophets are still here operating in that office operating in the things of the prophetic, operating in the things of visions and dreams, operating in the things of God. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you receive this, that the Lord has spoken. And like I said, it's whatever God has me to say.